I'm Randall Bird, your concierge yacht broker at lovethatyacht.com. And behind me is a Sunseeker 63 with 1,100 horsepower engines in exceptional shape. She runs about 34.8 knots at 2,250 RPM. The diesels are real strong. So I'm going to get on board, take some shots, and uh, let me know what you think of the boat. Randall Berg, your concierge yacht broker. Love that yacht. Com. So we are on board the Sunseeker Predator 63 footer. You can see the aft cushions are in fantastic condition, really beautiful. All the cushions are only about um, one year old and they're in great shape. The interior is really marvelous. I mean, all the windows are perfect. The chrome is great. The locks are great. There's no water leaks. The rubber seals are good. And you can see the upholstery. Wow, it's only a year old and it's virtually new, perfect stitching, perfect layout, uh, a nice balance for comfort. There's the speakers, there's four big speakers, and there's a camera in the cockpit. There's one of your cameras in the cockpit. And there's your accordion sunroof and it works perfectly. The mechanism's been rebuilt. And this is your guest seat at the helm. There's two AC units. There's one on the port side and there's one on the starboard side. So first time I've seen two AC units, two AC controllers in a Sunseeker. And looking again at the window treatment, the chrome is perfect. The seals are perfect. The rubber is perfect. There's a great TV right here so it's a very comfortable cockpit very rumor very user friendly there's even a map uh, holder that's what that plexiglass uh, forward area is and there's your monster woofer in your cockpit really it's a huge so stereo system rocks the boat and then the forward area the material is in good condition very good condition the cockpit is in perfect condition all the switches are new. Many of these boats, they have very rubber and gummy. These are brand new switches, brand new panels. It's all in fantastic shape. And you can see the different controls and uh, buttons and electronic uh, engine controls. This is a trolling control. Believe it or not, this boat has a trolling control. And there's your electronic engine controls. And this is a uh, four-way uh Balance stern thruster control works them together. Unbelievable. You can park this boat easier than any boat I've ever been on. Here's your trolling control. And the boat has uh, Bennett controls for uh, trim tabs. These are your Bennett trim tab controls. And you've got a nice uh, Robertson uh, autopilot and fusion stereo system. These are the actual engine hours, about 1,345 hours. This is a, uh, a reach-in refrigerator. Now we're back outside. There's your accordion sunroof. And going forward across the deck, there's this great enclosed cushion area for seating. I've never seen that on any boat. Very comfortable, holds you in place, doesn't need rails. Big speakers out there, <laughs> obviously. And then you have your life raft. And going forward, you have your anchor and your anchor windlass and your anchor chain locker, which we're going to open in just a minute. One hand for the camera, one hand for the hatch. So we're reaching into the chain locker and it's divided. So the forward area, you put all your tools, your cushions, your bumpers, your tools, whatever you need. And the forward area has a big place separating that area from the chain and rope and then here's your life raft and I've got some shots of the anchor and the windlass this is your remote control for your windlass this is a uh, washdown system inside that compartment here's another shot of the actual valve and then looking in again you can see your anchor is firmly attached to a big bolt there on your right side and so looking back across the deck, it's a, it's a great boat, lots of room. Uh, the gel coat's in great condition, uh, no real flaws that I could find. No flaws in the rails at all. But there are deck lights, all important starboard and stern. You can see, and there's your electronics on the, uh, on the arch. Now we're inside the boat, 
and it's got beautiful bright work. 99% of the bright work's in perfect condition. It's just beautiful. There's a couple of spots I'll point out to you that may need attention. Likewise, the ceiling and wall coverings are about 95% great condition. There's a few areas that they need a little attention. But you can see the bright work's great. The, the hatches aren't leaking. There's plenty of storage on board. All the cushions are in perfect shape. All the latches work, the doors work, the, the cabinets are aligned properly. This is a well taken care of boat by a family that loves their Sunseeker. And this is uh, the old TV box. They have another TV outside, a big LCD screen, which I'll show you, but swing it forward into the cabin. There's some, uh, there's your switches. I'm showing the carpet because a carpet does not need any attention. It was recently cleaned and it looks in near new perfect condition. This is your big LCD TV in your cockpit, in your salon, very easy to see. And this is your wine cooler, custom built wine cooler put in the boat. <clears throat> Cabinetry, I'm showing the wood, I'm showing the hatches uh, that don't that don't the portholes that don't link this is your galley and everything's hidden with covers you put the covers up or down to access your stove or your sink and that kind of thing <clears throat> again i'm showing the bright work because it's in great shape and now here's your ceiling the ceiling's been made new this is actually just the gap it's not a problem uh, that I'm pointing out but the ceiling material is all new and instead of using velcro this owner positively attached all the panels of very small stainless screws so there's no looseless there's no sagging the glue doesn't let go after a couple years virtually every sun seeker I've been on the glue lets go and these pieces start sagging and popping out and driving nuts you don't have that problem with this boat and then going back through the galley you've got a glass door refrigerator And then you have a um, freezer, which can be configured as a refrigerator either way, but that's your freezer. And again, the counter is in great shape. I'm showing the bright work, no real issues here. <clears throat> part of the lights in, of the interior have been converted to LED and part are still the halogen lights. So that's something uh, the next owner may want to finish converting them to LEDs and get rid of the old halogen uh, little lights. And then going forward to the master cabin, it's very big, three-quarter walk around, easy to make the bed. See the AC units working on the side. There's a makeup area with a pull-out chair, and I'm going to pull out the chair. There you go. There it is. Um, there's a little piece of carpet missing, and that's the only real flaw in this cabin. All the bright work's good. <clears throat> the ceilings are in good shape. Most of the wall hangings are as they should be. There's a little bit of warping on this one. <clears throat> and it generally goes away uh, the longer you uh, turn the air conditioner on, let the boat acclimate and get rid of the humidity. This is the one door where its, uh, it's latch needs to be adjusted. I had to manually open it. But it's cedar lined as all the cabinets are on this boat, hanging lockers rather. Seal line, it's big and very comfortable and user-friendly. Lots of storage. These are three or four big storage lockers at the, the foot of the bed. There's a TV sitting in there that you can prop up and watch. Just more storage. And the bright work's in great shape. There's really no flaws in it. There's one or two minor pieces of wood that are bleached a little bit. This is your head. Beautiful teak floor. Nice shower. Everything is as it should be. Vacuum flush work great. The bathroom is super clean, functional, beautiful. Then we're going, looking aft in the boat, we're looking at the guest cabins. This is your starboard cabin. And it's kind of unusual because when you open the door, there's a second door. And that isolates the cabin from the bathroom on the left. 
and in the cab you see we've lifted up the cushions so we could access the storage locker under them there's an enormous amount of spare parts under the bed and i'm going to open it in just a minute one hand for the camera and one hand to open it there's two big hatches here and i'm going to open just one of them and you can see that it's just loaded with boxes of marked spare parts great i mean this boat is like i said well taken care of by an engineer and uh, easy to get at everything it's one of the light pieces of wood it's not bad it's milky it comes from the manufacturing process not from the sun and you can see the wall coverings need to be addressed in this cabin they're a little saggy the ceilings have been done already now we're going to the other locker it's cedar lined like all of them which makes it very nice and then the bathroom which is accessible for both guest cabins uh, is just like the uh, master one it's got a great enclosed shower and a vacuum flush head and sink um, nice porthole all is as it should be it's in beautiful condition And then to your port side is your second guest cabin. And it's typical, another guest cabin. And most of the, uh, the ceiling's been done and most of the wall hangings have been done. As you see, there's a little drip there. You can address that if you want. Not bad at all, really not bad at all. The wood is all in nice shape. And so this boat has brand new propellers. They just came out of the shop. The toy garage is beautiful. There's room for a wave runner or a temp tender. The hatch lifts up to expose your engine so you can go through the engine hatch or through your tender garage. Great setup. And this is a picture of the boat uh, at the owner's house with the lights on and underway. So I'm Randall Berg, your concierge yacht broker at lovethatyacht.com. Uh, contact me for your boating needs and I will find it for you. Have a great day.